you can do the oil change one man in about literally 20 minutes if you do the modification that I'm about to show you. So here's the quad ski again. We showed you how to you know pull the seat off here, the front, but as you can see, I've moved it here to the back. Um, I'm using a, I've moved it here to the back, so you just spin the filter off here. Um, and then there is another adapter that goes down to the bottom. So the adapter on the bottom side of the quad ski is going to be just like the old oil filter that you would install on the bottom. It's threaded in the middle and it has an O-ring on the outside edge. You're gonna use some um, dielectric grease to you know apply to that O-ring, make sure that it stays in place, and then you're gonna spin it on in the bottom and then you know just snug it down with a good pair of open jaw pliers uh, make sure it's tight there on the bottom and then you're also going to at that point run the hoses out of that oil filter housing and those hoses will run up along the side of the exhaust you should zip tie them safely clear of the gear shift area um, and then run them up along the back. Wherever it's going to touch the exhaust, the company says this kit will withstand the temperature that the exhaust gets to, but I went ahead and got some uh, permacool um, insulation sleeves to put over the, the hoses and just you know use little wire ties to secure them in place just to make sure that you don't damage those hoses. The last thing you want is to lose oil pressure when you're out in the middle of the ocean. To pump the oil out, you don't need to... I, I put an access here, but I'm actually gonna remove this. This is really pointless. You can just remove the seat and you can reach that point right under here, uh, that tube. Um, you just have to feel for the bottom of this until you feel that like like you saw in the last video that like Plastic part that comes down and then you just pull the rubber hose off angle it back and slide your vacuum pump in there But for this uh, we're gonna use a different oil filter. Don't use the BMW one go with the mobile one M1-102 alpha this is a larger filter than the BMW one so it it does a better job of filtering the oil but more importantly it has a check valve in there that allows the oil to stay in the hoses so that when you start it the oil when you turn it off the oil doesn't just go back into the sump and then you have a dry start proceed um, when you start it next time the only drawback to that is you have to make sure that these hoses are put in properly if you put them in backwards the oil will not flow through the filter so you have to do it uh exactly as shown and th these come with instructions on where the the inlet and outlet should go from the other adapter and then to this one and then in order to get this here i've used some big nuts and washers to space it out and under here i did cut a steel plate uh to help reinforce this so that when you're twisting that thing off you're not twisting it directly on the plexiglass with this pump and that literally one person comes up, takes the front cover off, opens that, siphons oil there, reaches down, takes the seat off, siphons oil there, and changes the filter here. Um, put some towels under it and it, it, it takes like five minutes, one person.